Finally tonight here, the giant panda who stole so many hearts, waving bye-bye to Bebe. Today we saw the images Bebe, the four-year-old giant panda, getting ready to leave America, to leave his home at the National Zoo in Washington, D.C., heading for China. For weeks now, so many have been coming to say goodbye. Bye-bye, Bebe. Bye-bye, Bebe. It's all part of a long-standing agreement between the U.S. and China in the effort to save the panda population. Giant panda cubs in U.S. zoos go to a breeding program in China once they turn four. Baby, born here, and for years now, we've been reporting on him, a growth chart right in front of our eyes. Lori Thompson on the right was one of the first to hold Bebe, and she's traveling back with him. I'm going to be going with Bebe to China, and on the plane, I'm just going to make sure that he's well-fed and that he's happy in his crate. A specially designed crate just for him. Plenty of bamboo to eat on the way. It's going to be really hard to say goodbye, and for me, I'll be the last one of the group to say goodbye to him, so I'm sure once that really hits me, I'll probably have a little cry. <laughs> and today, after Bebe left, the workers at the zoo hugging. A lot of hard work and love from that team. Safe travels. I'm David Muir. I hope to see you tomorrow. Good night. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.